So today I'm going to do a review for you guys on this guy. He is Aurelius. He is the, the I hope I said that right by the way. He is the 2014 flagship horse, also known as a um, brick and mortar limited edition. I'm not positive how much he's limited to because I never read anything about it. I haven't seen anything. Um, I know that Icicle was limited to 3,500, Wapedia was limited to 3,600, and Lionheart was limited to 2,500. So that kind of gives you guys a little bit of a range on what he might be limited to. Um, so the first thing with him, I was really excited about him because I couldn't wait to put him in my cabinet. <laughs> because I like the way the light in my cabinet shines down on glossy horses. Unfortunately, he is too tall. He does not fit in my cabinet at all. I try. I can't get it to fit unless I take a shelf out, which I'm not doing. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a size comparison. Eh. Here is Gigi Valentine. Move him forward a little bit. And here is Lonesome Glory. So obviously he is going to be taller because he's rearing. But... I mean, just to, like, show you guys how tall he is exactly. So, yeah. He's, um, a really nice model. I'm going to show you guys his box real quick. Um, so yeah, that's just the front. The back. So yeah, basically it just talks about his breed and um, him, he is supposed to be a chestnut criollo or crillo or creo. I can't pronounce that, so if you guys could tell me, that'd be awesome, because I will forget after this review how to pronounce that, or to Google it, or whatever. Um, so I'm going to start off with just basic, like, him. So basically, he is a really nicely shaded chestnut with really nice gloss. He's really pretty. His mold is gorgeous. So the fun part is I get to nitpick everything that's wrong with him. <laughs> well, it's not really fun, but you guys understand. Um, I know some of you guys are live showers, so you guys probably want to know exactly any flaws he may have. Um, whether or not you should get him or whatever. So, um, the first thing that's... The most common thing that's wrong with him is he does have overspray on his mane. Um, mine isn't nearly as bad as the ones I've seen. But, whatever. Um, I didn't get to handpick him. I had him shipped to me. He was $56.99. So, if you guys were wondering, he was pretty decently priced. Um... He does, mine has a really nice crisp face marking. His leg markings aren't nearly as crisp as his face marking is, but they're decent. Um, his gloss finish, which I was a little nervous about because um, my Lionheart and my Icicle both have crap stuck in their gloss. Like, they both have lint and dust stuck in their gloss. I looked him over and I do not see anything stuck in his gloss, which is amazing because I know Briar's quality control has been slacking lately. So I give him props for this one. Um, the one thing that bothers me the most is he does, unfortunately, have a scratch on his leg. Which really sucks because I really like him a lot. But um, I can look past that issue and maybe in the future I can fix it. But right now I'm too lazy and I'm scared I'll ruin him. So maybe when I get brave I'll fix him. Um, but overall, I do highly recommend him. He is very, very, very pretty. He is a really nice model. Um, I did uh, see pictures of one getting a overall champion in the Briar division at a show. I didn't go to the show personally. Like I said, it was a picture. So if you have the right breed for him, he might um, have a... a he might place for you. Sorry, I got distracted by one of my Instagram notifications. So, yeah. Uh, so, if you are planning on getting him for um, uh, your collection, I do highly recommend him. Especially if you can find him for a good price. And especially if you can handpick him. 
Um, so thank you for watching and bye.